Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, Ryan Covey here. I just wanted to take a few minutes to, first of all, thank everybody that reached out to me uh, on the last day. Uh, it's been really, really cool, just some of the things that people have said on, on social media. Uh, yesterday sucked, man. I uh, lost my job at KNBR, a place I'd worked nine years, um, and a place that, quite frankly, that I loved. Um, but I always was well aware that this is the business that I chose and any day in radio could be your last. I mean, you know, I, I've been there long enough to know that, uh, to see guys like Ralph Barbieri, Ray Woodson, Matt Kolsky, Joe Hughes. I saw a lot of good people lose their jobs and not just at KNBR. I'm talking at 107.7 The Bone, uh, at KFOG, at KGO, when they had the mass layoffs there. So, you know, I, I always knew that uh, it was a distinct possibility. I kind of consider myself fortunate to have lasted as long as I did. Uh, but having said that, I mean, you know, it was my dream. Like, I, I gave everything I had, and, you know, I can still definitely hold my head up high knowing that uh, I, I gave it all that I could. Uh, and I, I understand, you know, there's it, it wasn't easy uh, for my boss, Jeremiah Crow to let me go today. Uh, I don't agree with it, and I think it's a just a crap ass move. I mean, why would you ever fire me? But uh, in all seriousness, the old adage in radio is they say you don't actually work in radio until you've been fired. So congratulations, uh, February 5th, 2019. I officially began my career in radio. But uh, look, uh, first of all, if you're not familiar like with how things went down for me at KNBR, I mean, I started there in 2010, uh, right out of SF State as a promotions intern, and I was 30 years old as a promotions intern, 31, and I had a ruptured Achilles tendon. So uh, Alvin Dejos, Lyle Perry, who's uh, now Lyle Shapiro, what's up, Gabe? Uh, Teresa Torres, there were some people that really looked out for me, and I, you know, I made my intentions very clear when I started at KNBR. I want to be a host on the air. I mean, I listened to KNBR since I was a kid. I always thought it would be sweet to be on the radio and have your own show. I used to want to be a play-by-play -play guy, but then that dream changed to being a sports talk show host because I'd ride around and I'd listen to Murph and Mac and uh, I'd listen to Tom Tolbert with Ralph Barbieri and Jim Rome and JT the Brick. And I'm like, damn, dude, I want to do this. Like, I know I can do this. And so I decided to give it a shot. I mean, you got one life to live, right? So go get it. And that's what I did. And so I started there as a, 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 per, a promotions intern and uh, that year was actually pretty cool because I also interned for the Giants and they ended up winning the World Series. And I just climbed the ranks. And Lee Hammer was the program director. Uh, Jen Violet was kind of in charge of the, you know, the the staff, uh, you know, making the schedule, et cetera. She was the assistant program director. Still the best boss I've ever had, by the way. What's up, JVK? And I made it clear to everybody what I wanted to do. I mean, anybody that would listen, I'm like, yo, man, I want my own show. Uh, a lot of people helped me along the way. Mike Holler, I started out as his intern screening calls on Gary's show. And that was back when Gary's show was on Comcast. So, like, it had the TV cameras in there. That was a lot of fun, man. Uh, with Holler and, like, the Tony Bruno segments. Dude, all time. Uh, Dan Dibley was there. And... Uh, we just we had a lot of fun, man, and I also helped Mikey on the Fitz and Brooks show, so I got to know those guys, and then ultimately I got the uh, opportunity to produce for Damon Bruce, did that for about a year, and uh, then later I ended up producing for Ray Woodson, and meanwhile, Pecan, uh, Patrick Connor and I started doing the Sports Saloon. Uh, he had me like as the update guy, he called me the saloon goon, and we had some fun shows, man, Saturday morning. Uh, we did that every football season, uh, started in 2011, and I had my last season on the saloon in 2016, so I think in six years, seven years, so uh, it was amazing, and I ultimately kept pounding on Lee Hammer's door. I'm like, Lee, put me on, man. I can do this. I can do this, and uh, he let me fill in for Damon Bruce back in 2012 a couple of times, and uh, you know, I think it went well. It's funny. I listened back to that the other day, one of those shows, and I was like, damn, I was a little wet behind the ears, uh, but you know, they, they just kind of kept me around. And I what I really would tell anybody that would kind of come up the ranks because I tried to make a point to look out for other people uh, that were, you know, coming down the pipeline and starting out as interns and sound editors and always like, you know, well, what would you do? And I'm like, well, I never said no. And I tried to learn every fucking job in this radio station. Cutting sound, uh, sports updates, hosting, board hopping, running Giants games, weekend shows like At the Track with Sam Spear, Protect Your Assets. I mean, you name it, I was down to do whatever. And I always kind of carried that because I thought versatility was the name of the game. I mean, if I can do every job, you don't have to pay me a lot. Hey, you probably want to keep me around, right? And the, the end game was always to try and get my own show. And 
I ended up producing for Ray Woodson uh, from 2013 up until uh, they got rid of him, which was just a crap-ass decision. Um, so I, I produced for Ray for about five years and got to fill in for him. The first time I ever hosted Sports Phone was in 2013. And that actually happened to be when my dad was in the ICU, he had stage four lymphoma. And I'm just happy to report that Pops has been cancer free. He whooped cancer's ass because he's a boss. Uh, I had dinner with my parents tonight and my sister. My parents, my family's awesome. Uh, and so that was really special. And like Bonte Hill, Dave Feldhouse, James Kincaid, they were all there that night. And uh, that was just a great night, man. There was a lot of energy in the room. I actually listened back to a little bit of that the other day. It's just kind of, I don't know, I'm just kind of was feeling nostalgic. And so, uh, what's up, Nucky? I hear Nucky coming in the other room. My little baby. Uh, and so I ended up, matter of fact, hey, come here, baby. Come here. People want to say hi to you, Nuck Nuck. Here he is. Here's daddy's little pride and joy right here. There's the Nuck Nucks. This is my guy right here. We're going to be getting a little extra time at the dog park when we're taking him out on the motorcycle. Mwah. We're going to be having a good time. So I'm in good hands. The Nuck Nuck's got my back, all right? There you go, baby. But uh, so I ended up, you know, uh, filling in for Ray and doing sports updates and working on the saloon. And ultimately, uh, Jeremiah Crow took over as the program director a couple years ago. And uh, the, the day that they got rid of Ray was actually just, you talk about a, a mixed bag. They give me the news that they're getting rid of Ray Woods. I'm like, oh, shit, man. Are you kidding me? Like, seriously? And then they tell me, oh, but you're going to get a show. So, I mean, I got to see, like, the, the worst side of our business over here. And then over here, I'm, like, getting told that I'm going to get to realize my dream. So, yeah, bittersweet, I think that was apropos. And really, the last, you know, year and a half, uh, all I've tried to do on KMBR tonight is make the kind of show that people would want to listen to. And I've had so much fun doing it, uh, just interacting with the listeners every night and, uh, you know, being able to have my own forum of the mixture. You know, if you listen to my show, you know, we love music and pop culture. We talk about movies and uh, all the way all that stuff intersects. One thing I'm not talking about is politics. Nobody wants to hear about me talking about uh, Trump building his fucking wall. OK, you come to me for sports. So that's what we're going to do. And I, I took it serious, man. That's all I can say. Like, I know my style wasn't for everybody. Uh, I, I know I can be a, a little loud. I can bounce off the walls a little bit. But, hey, man, passion and energy. That's what I'm bringing to the table. And I'm trying to do two things on the air. I have two goals. Have fun and tell the truth. And no matter what lies ahead for me, that's what we're always going to try and continue to do. But uh, thank you so much to everybody that's reached out to me. I'm going to be all right. Okay. Um, it does suck. Uh, you know, they say you don't work in radio until you've been fired. So now I do. Congratulations, Ryan. You work in radio now. Uh, do I think it was a good decision? No, it was a crap-ass decision. I'm I'm legit, man. Like, I live for this stuff. I love that station. And if I end up working somewhere else and they're a competitor at KMBR, then unfortunately, then the mission's going to be to squash KMBR. But uh, for now, I'm just going to kick back and, you know, kind of regroup a little bit, uh, enjoy some time. If you know me, like what I've been doing, I've been working on my physical fitness. I want to be going to the gym. I'll be riding my motorcycle, kicking it with Nuck Nuck. And, uh, you know, spend some time with some ladies and just seeing what comes next. But uh, this isn't the end of my story, man. This is just a chapter in the book. And uh, that book will have more chapters to come, hopefully a lot more. And uh, I, I just, again, I was overwhelmed by the amount of people that reached out. Uh, thank you so much to all the people at KNBR, uh, you know, Holer, uh, Adam Copeland, Brian Banifatemi, Jacob Violante, those three guys in particular produced for me uh, on KNBR tonight. I got news for you. Adam Copeland's going to be around a long time. Uh, he's he's dope. And Brian Banifatemi, that's my guy. Jacob Violante, uh, Dave Jenks, Steve Fishman, Matt Leland, Tanika, uh, just everybody, man. Uh, Murph and Mac, uh, Gary and Larry. Larry Kruger coming on my show late night. Much love. Same with you, Bob Fitzgerald. I appreciate you as well. Uh, Tom Tolbert, I got to see how a pro handles his business every single day. John Lund giving me great career advice. Uh, the dudes at night working together on KMBR tonight. And even Jeremiah Crow, man. I know it was hard for him to have to let me go today. Uh, no hard feelings. I'll, I'll rise up from this. I mean, like I said, man, it's, it's your guys' loss. So uh, I, I, I appreciate everybody. Uh, I love the Bay Area. I always will. This is my home. And hopefully someday in the near future, I'll be back talking about sports, uh, you know, be it a, you know, on, in this platform, uh, in the Bay Area or in another market. Uh, but I'm not going anywhere. We'll talk to you on Twitter. And uh, in the meantime, uh, thanks again for all the love everybody showed. It meant the world to me. Uh, in the meantime, just be good to each other. Talk to you soon, baby. Thanks a lot, guys.